seeing some kind of recognition of it. What a success story. Because if you make it in the American music scene, you make it everywhere in the world. It's the holy grail of the music scene. But it wasn't always that way. I remember when I told my dad I wanted to do music. My dad just laughed and he was like, ha very funny. You're doing really well, you're earning lots and lots of money. Why not part-time? Whatever, whatever. Why did you do this? This is nuts. And I think it was even harder for my dad because my dad's really into music. And for my dad, it was, look, son, how are you going to earn a living doing music? What's the point of living a life where you don't do anything just for fear of making mistakes? So after I quit my job, the plan that I had was I would spend two years to re-educate myself. One of the things that I did was I just listened to music. Music that resonated with people in a big way. I think the question that I was asking myself as I listened to this music every day was, can I do this? Will this music work? Will this melody work? Can I write hit songs that stand shoulder to shoulder with the work of these giants? And whatever my answer was, I just had to learn to go with my gut. And I think that's part of the fun of trusting your instinct. If you decide against all of the naysayers that you're going to do it, then you go and do it. <laughs>